Alrighty then, let's talk about Horace and the spiders on the ZX Spectrum. Now, this game is very weird, in a good way. It's quirky, unconventional, but also surprisingly entertaining. First off, the game is set in a bizarre world where spiders have taken over and Horace, our protagonist, is the only one who can stop them. The graphics are, shall we say, unique, with a mix of pixelated landscapes and colourful characters. But they look like they were drawn by a child with a crayon. But hey, it all adds to the charm, right? Now this is crazy weird. And the fat worm is surprisingly astute for a worm. He knows his way around a computer, that's for sure. He's particularly impressed with the ZX Spectrum's graphics capabilities, which he describes as brighter than a snail's shell on a sunny day. But if you're looking for something a bit off the beaten path, something that's going to make you scratch your head and say, what the bloody heck? Then Fat Worm blowing a sparky on the ZX Spectrum might just be for you. There's no doubt about it, and you can be forgiven for thinking that this game is about cute and fluffy animals frolicking in a meadow, but you'd be wrong. In fact, this game is about a teddy bear, I think, on a mission to rescue other toys from the clutches of evil. But weirdness aside, Soft and Cuddly is actually a pretty solid game. You shoot your way through levels filled with hazards and enemies, the controls are tight and responsive, and the difficulty curve is well balanced. So a bit weird, but also lots of fun. Pud Pud is a strange little creature in a strange little game, but don't be fooled by its cute and cuddly appearance because this game will test your skills and your nerve. I think Pud Pud is a weird but entertaining game that showcases the creativity and ingenuity of the ZX Spectrum's game developers back in 1984. So fans of retro gaming and bizarre gameplay mechanics, I think we'll definitely enjoy this title. Now, if you're not familiar with Benny Hill, he was a comedian famous for his fast paced slapstick humor. And this game tries to capture that same spirit. But where's the music? Saying that, this is still fun and entertaining, and it'll have you laughing and smiling as you play. It's very weird though. It's not going to win any awards, but it is a great example of fun, light-hearted gameplay that's perfect for a quick blast uh, on your ZX Spectrum. It's definitely a nostalgic romp through the 80s, and if you're a fan of the show or just love classic gaming, it's definitely worth checking out. Oh, Jet Set Willy, it's a fantastic game, and it still holds up today. It may not have the flashy graphics or cinematic cutscenes of modern games, but it more than makes up for it with its challenging gameplay, quirky humour and a sense of exploration. So if you're looking for a classic platformer that will test your skills and keep you entertained for hours, give Jet Set Willy a try. It will not only weird you out, it will give you an insight into the level of drug taking Matthew Smith must have been on. Ah, Frankie Goes to Hollywood. One of the reasons I love this game is the sense of humour that permeates throughout. There's quite a few tongue-in-cheek moments that will definitely make you smile. And it's also evident that the developers had a lot of fun creating this game, as it shows in the finished product. Yes, it's weird, but it's also wonderful, and it's a classic ZX Spectrum game that is well worth revisiting. So then, if you're looking for a trip down memory lane, or just want to experience one of the classics of the early gaming world, then Frankie Goes to Hollywood is definitely worth a look. When it comes to computer games, I've definitely been around the block. This was an absolute gem of a game back in 1985, but it was also one of the weirdest games. But it works. And what really sets Dynamite Dan apart is its sense of humour. From the silly animations to the hilarious death scenes, Dynamite Dan doesn't take itself too seriously and that's what I think makes it so enjoyable. So if you're looking for a classic platformer with a weird sense of humour, give Dynamite Dan a try. First impressions, well, the graphics are pretty basic, even for the ZX Spectrum. But as we all know, the real test is in the gameplay. But I have to say, not in 3D does deliver on its promise. The concept is simple enough 
you're presented with a tangled mess of lines and it's your job to untangle them by rotating the knots and loops until the lines are straightened out. It takes some getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, it's a satisfying feeling to see the line straighten out and the knot unravel. So Knot in 3D is a fun little game that will definitely test your spatial awareness. Hello. I'm still impressed by this game. Deus Ex Machina. Before I dive in, I have to say, this game is a true classic. Deus Ex Machina. It was released way back in Hello. 1984. I am machine. And it's still talked about today. I am machine. And my God, it's weird. I am machine. I have always been. 35 years ago, the graphics were impressive. In the beginning was the word. And the word was no. Deus Ex Machina is a strange I, game. I refuse. I refuse. You start to off obey. as a sperm, and you have to navigate obey through a series of tunnels to reach the egg. Yes, that's right. It's a pretty unique concept for the time, and it definitely machine. makes the game stand out from the crowd. I have always been. Once you reach the egg, you break out into the world. And it's then that you have to navigate through life. So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, let me know. Please leave a comment. Don't forget to like. And if you're feeling up to it, don't forget to leave a thank you. It's much appreciated. Until next time, bye!